Hi everyone, I'm Kate McCauley. Welcome to another sneak peek of one of our new patterns. Let's take a look at the Sporty Lounge Skirt. This is a relaxed style that looks just like your favourite trackies, but it's a skirt. It's the perfect blend of sporty detail and lounge comfort. Now, although this is a knit skirt, it's not a fitted skirt. It has ease through the waist and through the hips just to give that really lovely, comfortable feel. This style of sporty kind of skirt is a skirt that I've wanted to wear for a long time, but because of my body shape, um, I, I find that store-bought versions do not suit my body. They go in in the wrong places, out in other places, and they just don't work for me. So I, of course, designed one for us myself. So this is an A-line silhouette. So it is smaller here and it gradually, like an A, goes out. It is a silhouette that's more flattering on a wider range of bodies. Now, if you do want your skirt to be more fitted, of course, you can just size down and it will fit firmly through the hips. And you can even multi-size if you wanted your waist to be smaller as well. Just keep in mind, depending on your fabric, that if your skirt is tight, through here, it will rise as you walk. And you probably don't want that unless you're happy, like, you know, doing the little tug <laughs> to pull it down. So if, if you've got creases through here, it just means that it's too tight just across here. Now, let's talk about the details of this skirt first, and then I will take you through the ones that I have made. There are a couple of different waistbands, so you can kind of get that sporty vibe, or you can leave it nice and plain if you just wanted a plain skirt. So there's the tab waistband and this has a tab detail at the front, if you can see it here, um, on which you can put eyelets, buttonholes or even just have the tab detail and a fake drawstring. Now all the drawstrings are mock drawstrings, they don't thread all the way around, they just thread at the front. But if you wanted to just sew it on without eyelets or without buttonholes you can do that too. Or there's a plain waistband. You can add the mock drawstring, whatever you like. You can add top stitching or not add top stitching. It is totally up to you and the look and the feel that you want. If you do add top stitching, make sure your elastic is a good quality elastic. Um, with the tab waistband, you do have the advantage that you can try it on once you've top stitched it before you actually close these seams. Now, where you wear the waist on your body is totally up to you. The waistband is elastic, so you can wear it up on your lower waist like me. You can wear it right up on your waist or you can wear it slung down nice and easy on your hip. So the pocket is a stitched pocket, which means it's one layer stitched to the front of your skirt to give that kind of sporty detail. There is a bound edge pocket, like so, and then we have a welt pocket. So if you've never done a welt pocket before, now's your chance because this one is nice and easy and the instructions are quite detailed. So you just move through step by step and at the end you've got this lovely little welt pocket. Now if you don't know what a welt pocket is, here's a picture. So you get this gorgeous rectangle shape. And to go with those pockets, as I said, there is a stitched pocket bag. We have an optional centre front seam, so you can show off your top stitching. A um, little trick with the top stitching, to keep it nice and even, don't watch the needle. Line it up with something on the foot and sew. And that way you will get a much more even and straight seam. Next up, we have the high-low skirt line. So it is a little bit higher at the front and lower at the back. And then at the side, can you see this little detail just here? The little angle. You know sports shorts? That's to emulate sports shorts. So you get that little, almost a slightly curved V at the side seam. Now, there are three cutting lengths. There is short, regular, and tall. This one is the short, and on me, it sits above my knee and the tall sits below my knee. So which one you use is gonna depend on the length of your legs and your personal preference. Now, if you want it longer or shorter, you'll find adjustment lines on the pattern 
and you just cut along the, the adjustment lines and either fold it up for shorter or open for longer. And you will see in a minute, I will show you, I've made two midis just by cutting along the bottom adjustment line and extending it. And I think I added in maybe five centimeters on the tall and that makes a really easy midi version that's like mid calf. Let's have a quick chat about multi-sizing before I show you all the fantastic samples that I have made. If you are like me and your body is a combination of all different sizes, this skirt is so easy to multi-size. So if you get those pull lines through here, if, you, if all your skirts pull up at the front and you're constantly tugging them down, you need to multi-size and it is really easy. In the tutorial, up the back, you'll see an adjustment section. It will tell you what to do, but it is so easy. Please don't be daunted and please give it a go. Now, let's get on to my samples. This first sample is made from Liverpool and it's from Lush and I have multi-sized it. It is the short length. So above my knee, um, I have done the tab waistband with little eyelets. My drawstrings, um, most of them I got from Boo Designs. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, the pockets. I have done the bound edge pockets. Voila. And I've done the rounded pocket, which you probably can't see, but there's top stitching around here. And you can just use a twin needle. Um, what else can I tell you? Like I said, I have multi-sized this and I am wearing it with the timeout tank. How good does it look? So I've just tucked it in. So it's just a little bit loose through here. Some heels, so it's kind of that sporty luxe kind of feel. And I'm loving myself. Let me show you this with a couple of different tops to change the vibe. This is with the new Carefree tee. So it's lovely and, and loose and I sized down with this particular one. You can do the tuck just to have it nice and relaxed and just so easy to wear. And with my favorite t-shirt, I actually ironed it for you this time, just a floppy store-bought linen t-shirt. But you can see it's just lovely and relaxed and with the every me tank or how about a warm snuggly winter vibe next up i thought i'd show you a pattern hack so the pattern hacks in this are very very simple if you want to make a midi all you do is cut across the lower adjustment line Pop in how much you need and voila, you have an adorable midi skirt that you could sew for um, a weekend skirt. And this is amazing thermo fabric from Boo. So it's nice and warm. It's fluffy on, I don't know if you can see that. It's fluffy on the inside, a um, little bit stretchy and really, really warm and awesome prints. Or how about a merino wool? Um, I'm kicking myself that I didn't make a little set in like one of our jumpers with a merino wool skirt would be perfect for work. And gorgeous layering pieces. And just see that fabulous hemline, little sporty detail. And I've done um, the bound edge pocket. And you can't see my top stitching, but there is top stitching in the curved stitch pocket. Um, and then I've just done a plain waistband with a little bit of top stitching and then a drawstring. Um, and then I've combined it with the Keep It Simple in just a rib knit. As I said, the, the fabric and the drawstring are from Boo Designs. And I've just used um, just what I had in my stash, just some bamboo for the waist um, and the pocket trim. And you can see, um, this is quite a thick fabric, and you can see from my pocket, 
because it's a stitch pocket, it's not added any bulk to the skirt at all. And that's what makes the stitch pocket ideal. And of course, it looks adorable with the time out tank as well. Real sporty, casual, luxe vibe. Next up, I've used just a plain cotton lycra t-shirt fabric, and it is probably one of the most versatile skirts that I've made. So I've used the short length. I've done just um, a top stitch waistband. So just a plain waistband with top stitching. I've just popped, stitched the drawstring on the front. I've done the bound pocket, which with the stitched pocket bag. Um, and this fabric is from Jono's on the Sunshine Coast. Um, and this is with a bamboo timeout tank. So the same top in a different fabric, a little bit of a heel, and it is a totally different vibe. Same fabric, but different design. This is the game on one shoulder. Warm and snuggly weekend. This is the new Hairfree Cuff Tee. And it's all snuggly and soft on the inside. And this is with the unwind. You could do a little tuck if you wanted to. Love this one. Just that little bit of glitz with this print and just easy, relaxed, lovely to wear. And this is a longer length unwind, just in cotton lycra, just makes it super easy to just relax at home. You have that gorgeous detail on the side. And then last but not least, a little sweater. This is um, the Keep It Simple in just a sweater knit. Just easy, just easy and casual. Next up, we have the welt pocket. You can see here this gorgeous rectangle down the side seam. And there is your pocket inside. And then you can see the stitch line down here and see how it just curves gently up at the side, just giving all those sporty little details. So that kind of emulates what's happening down here on the hemline. And then we have the top stitch waistband with the little tab with the eyelets in it. It's lovely, easy, relaxed with the unwind and so functional with the new Carefree tee. Look at those pockets. And I love how this is like, the inside is darker. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the fabric is, but I did get it from Jono's on the Sunshine Coast. <laughs> and I've just used the, the inside as my contrast. Now this one is the same fabric, but different details. So I've still done the tab waistband, um, and then I've done the bound pocket this time, and I've added a go faster stripe. Next up we have, it's just a poly knit, but I've done the pattern hack again and I've made it into a midi length. Um, I've teamed it with the timeout tank. I have done the welt pocket, if you can see that, and I've just turned the fabric the other way so that it gives that little bit of really, really subtle contrast. And then that fabulous, oh, hemline and then just by changing your shoes you can go from day to night this is a poly elastane again from Jono's um, I bought it because I thought it looked very sporty and it's got the welt pocket the tabbed waistband this is uh, the timeout tank and the drawstring from Boo Designs or you could pair it with the Flossum. How good does that look? Just a little bit of fun. 
This one is made from double brush poly from Lush. It's the regular length. Um, I've had a play around with the pockets. I used one of the pockets from the Palazzo pants, one of those pocket openings. And then on top, I have the new Carefree Tee pattern hack. So it's cropped to the waist. You can crop it to the waist or to the hips. And then just little cuffs. Makes the most adorable outfit. I didn't mean to have, there we go. I didn't mean to have this symmetry. I'm not sure how it looks. Um, I should have thought that through a little bit more, but I really love the outfit. And then a little pair of ankle boots. Definitely a work outfit. And being in French Terry, it's a little bit warm. So I'm not gonna freeze. Loving, 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 and so comfortable. Because you know that is totally us. It's totally PE is to look amazing and be comfortable. Because if you're not comfortable, I'm not going to wear it. And with the awesome game on. I love this top. It's just, just that little bit of a hint. But you know you're not going to flash anybody. I just love it. And it just goes so beautifully with this skirt to take it to that little bit of um, kind of lounge luxe. Just what we like. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it's just so comfortable, easy to wear, stays in place. It works. Now I thought this could be quite a statement too. The huge sleeves and then gorgeous, comfortable skirt. This is um, the Hello Gorgeous with the long sleeve option. We'll make a statement. So I've taken to wearing my son's hand-me-down shirt. <laughs> um, I don't know whether it's because he's moved out and it just reminds me of him or that it actually looks nice. So I thought if I had a skirt to go with it, that would be amazing. What do you think? I thought I had pockets. What do you think? Easy, casual. And this is um, poly ribbon it from Lush um, and I've just lengthened it to um, along the adjustment line. What do you think? Now last but not least I made for a total weekend vibe. Gorgeous warm jumper, rib knit skirt, lengthened to midi, And that is all of them. What did you think? I'd love to hear what you think. So if you comment below before the pattern is released on Thursday, you will go in the running to win one of these for free. And of course, there's more opportunities in the group to get your hands on one of these or the new Carefree Tea for free as well. This pattern goes on sale on Thursday night. 6.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And of course, you get our standard pattern release 15% off this one and the new Carefree Tea. Um, and that runs until Monday noon Australian Time. So Australian Eastern Standard Time. So that is about Sunday evening in US time. Um, at the top of the website, you will always see a banner and on the listings, you will see a banner that counts down and tells you how long you have to go. So also on sale will be um, the coordinates that I've put with this um, skirt. So the Time Out Tank, the Flawsome, Hello Gorgeous, Unwind, Keep It Simple. And I think that's it. I think that's everything. Um, so that you can get those for 15% off for those couple of days, for those three or four days as well. So I hope you loved it. Don't forget to go and watch the t-shirt video if you haven't seen that one yet. And I will see you in the group.